I'm not gonna sit here and tell you life is gonna be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not gonna be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably gonna be the opposite. You see, the enemy is gonna throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are gonna fool you, disappoint you, turn their back on you. The closest around you are gonna give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's gonna run. You're gonna look around and you're gonna be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm gonna speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me. Nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you and that is all you need. There's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out, people will do the same. Relationships are like music. And you should never make music with anybody who doesn't understand, appreciate, and value your lyrics. Sometimes you just gotta let these people go. You gotta know your worth. Sometimes you just gotta let them people go. You gotta stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you gotta remind the world just who you are. And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're a nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion. The way of the warrior, champion eyes, get back up, my spirit cries, fear dies, choked out by the scream, the desire to climb and live out my dream, take it for the team, discipline reigns, I want it too bad to listen to the pain, I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy and setbacks, an inspirational story. Warriors like me, we were strategically designed for the struggle. Many before me gave up and quit. Acted all bad <laughs> to the first time they got here. But see, blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. I was made for war. I cry out to heaven, blessed and unstoppable, an immortal legend. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain, kicking and punching. I just keep on pounding. I found it. That deep desire to win. I remember defeat and I say never again. See, warriors like me, we were born and strategically designed for the struggle. The way of the warrior, champion eyes, get back up, my spirit cries. Fear dies, choked out by the screams. The desire to climb and live out my dreams. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to bow to pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. 
tragedy setbacks an inspirational story many before me gave up and quit acted all bad to the first time they got in blood don't scare me I fear not death whatever it takes champion to be the best of the best climb I say the unclimbable mountain Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding Because I'm a warrior and that's what we do I'm Billy Owls Brooks, blessed and unstoppable To God be the glory Success Is a war over the invisible It's having the faith and vision to see what could be Can be and will be when consistently watered with an undeniable grind. Truth, the language of those who are truly alive. Soaring on wings of faith, they gracefully fly. Radiating the power that they found down inside. Wrapped in fire, watch the chosen climb. Something in them refuses to be denied. Seizing the moment they know the time has arrived Refusing to doubt or believe any of his lies We call these people overcomers because they know how to climb Everywhere that you look around you You can sense that people don't want to see you succeed But I'm gonna plant this in your spirit The fire and truth on the inside of you will make room for you Whether the haters like you or not Doubt is the best salesman that there's ever been He gets up every day and knocks on your door Trying to sell you on the lie that you aren't good enough But those who can sit in silence and still believe Shall one day hear the music of that which they believe for Each time you face something you fear in truth You go to a deeper level of growth, awareness, and personal power See the fire grows inside of you when you own and accept everything about you it's time to stop running and climb. There's three types of people in this world. Those in the game, those on the sidelines, and those in the stand watching. The time has come for you to make a decision right now. Which one of those three do you want to be? Climb. Now you could tell when somebody's about to go to the next level in life. Cause you can see it in their eyes. When the world turns their back on you, Climb. When the whole world calls you crazy because your dream is so big Climb. And when you feel like you are at the end of yourself And that you can't take another step Still climb The most difficult and pivotal times in your life You will have to travel alone But those who can sit in silence and still believe Shall one day hear the music that they believe for Warriors and overcomers, they know how to climb. As an heir to the promise, God has given you an inheritance beyond your own capability. The only way you will be able to come in possession of this inheritance is by faith. The real revolution is self-awareness. It's when you awaken to the truth that you yourself determine your own peace, success, and outcome in life. Real success, real transformation, real emancipation starts when you finally awaken to your own individual power and the God who gave it to you then you boldly wrap yourself in faith and unleash yourself upon the world climb champion climb warrior climb overcome climb soldier climb wrapped in fire the chosen climb this is Billy Alls Brooks and I am blessed and unstoppable via true music and to God be the glory Champions glory Success Is not created It's always been there We just have to align our thinking with it and by doing so success becomes visible to the outside world Success is not achieved. It's displayed greatness is always available to those who are willing to think in a way that will allow it to manifest itself now what I'm going to do here on this message is to
teach you the art of greatness The seven elements that dictate success Circumstances are born out of a consciousness that allows them to exist So the first element that you have to tap into If you want to go to the next level Is vision I like to back everything up with scripture Where there is no vision, the people perish Success starts with self-awareness So what you have to do is awaken to your true identity See, greatness made you Therefore, greatness is in you God did not design you to be average Mediocre, lukewarm That would be going against his own nature You will never fully understand who you are Until you accurately see your father And your father loves you You are not here by mistake You have a purpose in life You have a calling on your life There is a need, a void in this world that only you can feel You have been given specific natural talents Gifts and abilities perfectly suited for what you've been called to do Now contrary to popular belief You were designed for more than just doing a 9 to 5 Just scraping by month by month Living just above broke That is not God's plan for your life I'll back it up I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly He's talking about you Abundant life Press down, shake it together, running over What dream did God plan inside of you? Each and every one of us has a dream, God put it there All we have to do is awaken to it The enemy's objective is to keep you so busy every day To keep you wore out doing that job that you were never designed to do To keep you so tired that you never have time to sit down and ask What am I called to do? What was I designed to do here on earth? If you want to experience success at the highest level You got to start getting clear on what you want in life If you don't have a vision for your life, you're going to be helping somebody else build their vision. Vision is the genesis of all greatness. You build success first in the mind. You chisel away everything that doesn't belong in your life from that vision. You walk it out. You get up every day and build what is already there. Now I'm going to get a little deep on you right here. To manifest your dream fully, your mind must be held to a standard of unwavering fidelity to the belief that that dream has already been accomplished. Your thinking must remain loyal to your outcome desired and not fall victim to the seductive mistresses of thoughts that run contrary to that dream. Greatness requires wholeness and wholeness is to yield one's entire being to the belief that the vision desired has already been attained. Now decide what it is that you want in life and then get a vision for that in your mind and then own it. I don't mean rent it. I don't mean lease it. I mean go to the title company, put the money down and own that dream. Then you gotta capture it down on paper. Write the vision to make it plain so he that read it can run with it. You gotta get that vision down on paper. I know a man who writes down his goals every morning and every evening and reads them aloud before he starts the day and before he ends it. He's been doing that for the last 20 years and now he's worth a hundred million dollars. You can do it too. See these laws, these elements that I'm laying out here for you today, they're available for anybody. They're not a keeper of persons. They don't care who taps into them. They just obey. Anybody that aligns with them will produce fruit with them. Truth does not discriminate. She loves all who embrace her. And that's you. All you gotta do is tap into these principles that I'm laying out here for you. The second element to the art of greatness is the mindset. You gotta address your mind. The word says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's your mind that transforms your life. You can't get extraordinary results with an average mindset. It just don't work that way. Now hear me out. Thoughts are products of the mindset. And the mindset is the offspring of a belief system. To be successful, one must not just address the thoughts or the mindset, but dig deeper and adopt the belief systems and awareness that truly dictates success. To step fully into greatness, you gotta adopt Matthew 19:26 as the foundation of your thinking. And that's with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Now that with God part, it's consciousness and our understanding of who God is. It's also understanding where God is. Greater is he that is 
in you than he that is in the world. That means God lives in you. You have the power of God residing on the inside of you. The world belongs to the bold. And once you know who's on the inside of you, you can aggressively attack your dream the way it needs to be attacked in order to become a reality. Champions refuse to entertain self-limiting beliefs in any way, shape, or form. That doesn't exist because with God, all things are possible. All things are available to the one who believes. Because destiny is obligated by universal law to concede to the demands of unwavering faith. You gotta protect your mind. You gotta quarantine all doubters, haters, and naysayers who don't believe in your dream. You gotta get those people out of your life. Your dream is too important to let it be put in jeopardy by those around you. The only people you should have around you are warriors that believe. This is the mindset, see? Champions don't make excuses. Champions make adjustments. If you want greatness, then you gotta commit to a complete abandonment of all thoughts and beliefs that run contrary to the outcomes that you desire. Only that which God has promised should you accept from the world and nothing less to set up for anything less than God has promised is to doubt God. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. Pour greatness into your mind daily. What you gotta do is surround yourself with greatness. People who understand it, exemplify it, and are constantly pursuing it. The only people I hang out with are the sick and hungry. People who are sick and tired of being average and hungry enough to do something about it. That's who you should hang out with. That's the mindset you gotta adopt if you wanna be unstoppable. The third element to the art of greatness is the inner standard. The standard that you hold yourself to day in and day out. Cultivating a spirit of excellence in everything you do. Now let me back this up with the word. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm to step fully into greatness. You got to understand that average is the play and you got to refuse to have anything to do with it. Mediocre is too dangerous to leave unchecked. Here's where we make a mistake when we think we can compartmentalize average. See, if you let average exist anywhere in your life, it will seek to spread to the other areas. There's nothing wrong with having big dreams and big goals. But in order to achieve them, you gotta put in place the inner standard that will produce that outcome that you want. Just like the world's tallest skyscrapers, success must be built on a deep and solid foundation. Enduring prosperity can only be engineered with solid core values, strong righteous principles, and impeccable character. What do you wanna stand for in life? There's an old saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. A standard of greatness should be the filter that you live your life through. Refuse to compromise or be swayed by your emotions. External circumstances should never dictate your actions. It's who you are at the core that should always command your response. Your inner standard is the personal code that you represent and choose to live by. Live by the code, the creed, the standard of greatness. No matter what you do, how big or how small, it should always be done with a spirit of excellence. Now the fourth element to the art of greatness is focus. The number one reason people fail is broken focus. They lose attention. They take their eye off the vision. They take their eyes off the prize. Now the word of God says, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. That's Proverbs 425, written by Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived. You gotta refuse to give time, energy, or focus to anything that doesn't move you closer to your goals. Find out what's most important in your field or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Find out what's most important and then put all your time, energy, and resources there. You gotta keep your mind and your attention on the things that you actually do control. You take big challenges, and break them down into small manageable pieces. You take it one rep at a time, one set at a time, one day at a time, one week at a time. Keep all your attention on what you can control, what you can do right now, and put all your effort there. You gotta get tunnel vision. All you see is the dream and the things you gotta do to get there, that's it. Element five to the art of greatness is grind. That's your work ethic. When it comes to greatness, when it comes to success, your work ethic is your credit score. The only forms of payment 
or blood, sweat, and tears. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go to the Word. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Your mind imagines the dream. But in order for destiny to bloom, it must be constantly watered with blood, sweat, and tears. Success comes directly off the assembly line of an intense work ethic. You can't purchase greatness with Bitcoin. The only currency accepted is sweat. You got a hammer, bang, and chisel on your craft until you master it. You hear what I'm saying? They say it takes 10,000 hours of doing something before you master it. 20,000 to become a legend at it. Your grind and your preparation, those are weapons. You gotta use them. There's no goal or dream that can deny the person who masters the art of hard work. Success doesn't have to be complex. Just decide what you want and then grind at the level it takes to make it reveal itself. The sixth element to the art of greatness is discipline. Now let's go to the word. Therefore I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight like I'm beating the air. No, I discipline my body and make it my slave so that after I preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Now, to achieve greatness, you must first master yourself. What you do consistently, you will eventually become. Your habits and daily routines must be in alignment with the outcomes you want to accomplish. Discipline is the daily process of creating the life you want by consistently chiseling away at the things that don't belong. You gotta stop letting your emotions steer your life. It's time for you to get behind the wheel and put your life on the trajectory that you want it to be. Your discipline must break your body's spirit until it becomes your slave. Dedication, determination, and commitment. These are the three great equalizers. There's a whole lot of people in the Hall of Fame. They're only of average talent, but they were disciplined. Your work ethic and your discipline are your transportation. Where is your vehicle taking you? That's the question. You wanna go to the next level? You gotta be hungry, dedicated, and fearless. One by one, you must overcome the daily temptations that stand against your dreams. Self-discipline is sacrificing the short-term benefits for a bigger, greater desired outcome. It's a loud declaration to the universe that says, what I want to achieve is more important to me than the immediate gratification of the things that prevent me from it. How bad do you want to be successful? Self-mastery, discipline cannot be outsourced. It's a choice that only you can make. The price of victory must be paid with sweat day in and day out. Now the seventh element, the final element of the art of greatness is perseverance. And the word says, let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Now I like to say this, nothing can be denied the one that won't be denied. In order to do that though, you gotta have a strong why, a motive, a motivation to do what it is that you want to accomplish. You gotta find you a why that you can run through walls with. What is the reason that you really want to be successful? What is that reason behind it? You gotta find something so strong that it wakes you up early in the morning and keeps you up late at night. No matter how many times life knocks you down, you just gotta keep getting back up. Keep applying pressure until the world folds into your demands. Refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one set out for. God is not a halfway God. He's not going to halfway heal you, halfway deliver you, halfway bless you. He's going to go all the way because with God, all things are possible. And when you believe that, when you have that kind of faith, you can persevere through anything. The secret to success is refusing to give up. Perseverance transforms average everyday people into world champions. No matter what your goals are in life, there's gonna be massive challenges, huge setbacks, and heartbreaking disappointments. Each of these circumstances will disguise themselves as failure. To step into greatness, you must reject this lie and continue on towards your dream with even more determination. Don't buy the lie the devil's trying to sell you. Failure is not an option for a believer, you hear me? Failure is not an option.
situation that does not exist. I'm not gonna lie to you and act like everything's gonna be all gravy, all good, all the time, cause it's not. On the way to success, there will be many times when you feel crushed, exhausted, and alone. You'll be tempted to lay down, throw in the towel, and quit. But it's then, mighty warrior, that you must arise to the occasion. Arise, champion. Your choices during these soul-searching moments will eventually define you. Refuse to be a victim and claim the crown of glory by way of persistence. Keep applying pressure until the universe folds into your demands. When you would rather die trying than live as a quitter, then you will step fully into greatness. And only then, I'm going to say it one more time, refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one set out for, the one believed for. All these elements I laid out here in the art of greatness are held together by faith. According to your faith, so be it unto you. All things are possible to him that believeth. Greatness made you, therefore greatness is in you. Don't settle for anything less than what you were meant to be, what you were designed to do. Don't let nobody tell you that you are average. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not good enough. That's a lie from hell. Know your worth. You are amazing just the way you are. Perfectly designed and strategically assembled for success. Go get what is yours. This is Billy Alls Brooks. I am blessed and unstoppable. Struggle, struggle. I'm a product of the struggle, struggle. I'm a product of the struggle, struggle. I'm a product of the struggle. Struggle. I'm a product of struggle. Being at the top, they say it's lonely. But see, I don't fear being lonely. I fear being around average people who want me to be just like them. I needed people for so long, but they never came. And because no one came, I learned to live without them. I learned to get comfortable being lonely. I learned how to function in the dark. Now I'm dangerous. You see, people who don't need anyone and are comfortable being alone can accomplish anything. Hear me out now. You see, I don't fear rejection because I don't have any friends who reject me. See, the only two friends I have are vision and grind. And the three of us together are unstoppable. If you're looking for fear in my eyes, you're looking in the wrong place. See, I don't fear because I don't got nothing to lose. People that fear got something. I ain't got nothing. All I got is my dream. And best believe I'm going to make that dream a reality. And not you or anyone is going to stand in my way. I used to chase people and beg people to put me on, to open the door, to give me an opportunity. And every time they let me down. So I stopped asking and started taking. I'm a product of the struggle. Struggle. I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle. Those addicted to the fire become slaves to the burn. And I'm burning with passion for what I want to do in life. And all these nine to five walking dead zombies trying to rain on my parade and tell me I'm a dreamer. So what? I'd rather die on my feet dreaming. Then crawl on my knees to a job that I can't stand to make somebody else rich. You got a heartbeat and you breathing, but you're not really living. You're too scared to be who you're supposed to be. You see, fear is a track star and you can't outrun it. The only way to beat it is to face it head on without flinching. Your upbringing is a joke. Your mom and daddy didn't prepare you. Your schooling didn't prepare you for life. They didn't equip you with the tools needed for you to stand out the thing you fear the most and laugh. See, you can only learn that in the dark. You can only learn that alone. And I learned that a long time ago. I'm going to keep it real with you. I used to cry myself to sleep. But not now. It's not tears that hit my pillow, but sweat. See, you feel what I'm saying? It resonates on the inside with you. Because I'm not saying it from my mind. I'm not saying it from my throat or my heart. I'm saying it from my spirit. Deep down, that's who I am. That's why when I speak, I set you on fire. Because you know what I'm saying is real. You've been there too. And you know what it looks like. You know what it feels like. I'm not reading this out of some self-help book, bruh. Man, I live this here that I'm talking to you. They say, Billy. Now, if you want corporate jobs, if you want corporations to hire you to come speak, you need to tone your message down. I said, what? 
Man, I only know one speed, bruh, and that's raw. Straight up uncut, unstepped on. I ain't about to pollute or dilute my work for a paycheck. Are you kidding me? See, I understand the secret. The secret is setting yourself on fire. Money chases fire. Money chases value. And I'm gonna give it to you straight up. And any corporation that don't understand the fire, I don't wanna speak to anyway, cause they not gonna be here long. You see, the greats that actually changed the world, they understand my language. The Steve Jobs, the Google Brothers, Jeff Bezos, Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Nick Saban, Bill Belichick, John Wooden, all these people knew you gotta be on fire if you wanna change the world. When you living in the dark, you got two choices, to stay there or turn into the flame, and I chose the lights, and I'm shining, and I'm gonna keep on shining, and I'm gonna burn my way with passion to the top. If people would've put me on, had people came to my rescue when I needed them emotionally, I would have never been prepared to achieve the levels of success that I now conquer. I'm not bitter, I just don't care. I'm not arrogant or cocky, I just know my worth. I'm not reckless, I just won't be denied what I know is already mine. See, the difference between me and the rest is I paid my college tuition in pain. There's no scholarships or free rides for greatness. Ain't no free meal tickets, no skipping line passes, and no power for friends to put you on. Ain't no one coming to save you. The one you looking for has already come. This is how it is when you a product of struggle, struggle. I'm 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 a product of struggle. This is the jungle, and only the strong survive. You see, I simulated the struggle day in and day out before the game ever began. Before I ever got in the ring, I won it in my mind. Now I laugh at every obstacle, every adversary, and every so-called setback. See, I'm not like the other people that you fought. I'm not like the other people you've been in the ring with. You say, oh no, Billy, you cocky. You are overconfident. You are underestimating your opponent. But that's not it. See, I'm going to tell you what it is. Why I am so confident in my ability Because I've already fought you in my mind a million times Before I ever saw you I am a seasoned warrior designed for overcoming You see, I'm immune to loneliness Immune to affliction And immune to misery What you gonna do to me? There's nothing that you can do to me that ain't already been done I'm addicted to the struggle I've overdosed so many times on struggle that I'm tolerant and numb to it now. See, I don't fear you, nor do I fear those with you, because you are soft, weak, and unready to face me. I'm determined on the inside, and you will feel the wrath of somebody who will not quit until they get what they came for. See, being at the top, they say, is lonely. But I don't fear being alone I fear being around average people like you That's trying to make me like you For years, I thought people used to doubt me Or be jealous of my dream But see, now I realize it was fear They knew I was gonna do what I said I was gonna do But they were just scared where they were gonna be sitting when I did it But now I'm dangerous People who don't need anyone and are comfortable being alone Can accomplish anything Playtime's over, I'm coming I'm a product of struggle, struggle. 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 I'm a product of struggle. Billy Owls Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. And if you're looking for me, you know where to find me. <laughs> All day, every day, boy. 120, Grind City. Struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle.